Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, um, along with lots of other emails that I receive, um, I recently received an email from a lady by the name of Lisa. Um, she said, do you sell pens? I said yes, and she wanted to buy a pen. Now, unfortunately, Lisa wasn't too, um, if you like, um, experienced on pens or vintage pens and well she asked me for a lot of advice basically a lot of emails went back and forth I sent her some pictures and well she asked me a lot of questions which was fine we answered them hopefully correctly and uh, eventually she decided on this pen now which pen is it so if we open it up there we go and that's what it is. It's a Conway Stewart. Now, this pen, well, again, when she sort of said to me, you know, do you have any pens for sale? I said, yes, some of them need to be restored. This was one of them. And what we have is, let me show you the barrel imprint. Okay, so you can see there, we've got a Conway 87 made made in England so a lovely clear imprint so as I say a Conway 87 this one made in England the size of the pen capped is 136 millimeters capped around the barrel diameter it's a nice um, 11 millimeters in diameter now these pens they were brought out they were a little bit late within the Conway Stewart range um, I'm dating it around about 1958 getting into the very early 1960s um, I do believe they made them in a green blue grey and a maroon color but as you can see here this is a lovely classic black with what we term as rolled gold cap now if I just go to the cap and there we go hopefully you can see that it says 12 carat rolled gold so you can see the cap there it's got these lines running to the length of the cap there it's got the very recognizable Conway Stewart clip and to the top there you can see we've got the Conway Stewart logo and to the very top we've got this lovely matching black stud a lovely handsome little pen and a quality made pen as well now if I take the cap off which is friction fit let's give you a couple of the customary different angles let's pop that down and there you can see the section so the section tapers slightly down towards the nib and then if we show you the nib there let's keep it nice and still we've got a Conway 14 karat gold gold nib there's a sideways view there's the feed underneath and as I say everything is lovely and clean as I say we've restored it it didn't need a lot of work doing to it but what we've done is serviced it if we unscrew the the barrel you can see I've installed a brand new ply glass sack to the pen there okay so it's lovely and clean incidentally this filler um, Conway Stewart I believe called it a press sack filler for well speaks for itself so it's a press sack filler so let's screw that back on and a lovely pen to hold a lovely sized pen to actually write with so as I said Lisa decided to purchase this particular pen or to reserve it subject to restoration now no no sooner had I actually finished this particular pen um, that Lisa actually sent me another email because I actually sent her, a, you know, a photograph of a few pens that I had available. Um, she came back to me and said, Oh, Steph, can I also buy number eight? Now, number eight on the image was this pen here. Let's pop that to a side. And this is a gorgeous 
Parker do fold. It's actually what Parker used to term as the the Parker new do fold. It was a I think it was the third generation in the do fold line. You can see again in classic black. This one's slightly shorter. It's 130 millimeters capped, but a lot broader, being 12 millimeters in diameter. And as I've said in other videos, these Parker Do folds are superb everyday writing pens. To the cap, we've got this quite a, a wide cap band there, as you can see. The very recognisable Parker clip there, the arrow clip, a little black stud to the very top of the cap there. We've got a barrel imprint, a little bit on the worn side, I don't know how clear it will be, but it reads Parker Do Fold, made, made in England. A gorgeous, another quality made fountain pen. So if we screw the cap here, again show you the pen in different angles. Another pen that I actually restored, it was a little bit tired, but what we've done is restored it and it's now in beautiful condition. You can see the section again tapers slightly towards the nib. And if I show you the nib there, you can see it says Parker 14 carat England. And then it's got the number 25 just to the bottom. And that is indicating that this model is what they term as the standard model. There's a sideways view. The feed underneath. Again, everything is lovely and clean. Everything's been cleaned. And again, a lovely pen to write with. Let's take the barrel off, and in this particular case, similar to the Conway Stewart, we've got what Parker termed as the aerometric system. Very similar to the Conway, i.e. we press this bar here numerous times to fill, to fill the pen. Okay, so let's pop the barrel back. Now... I'm not going to do a writing sample because quite simply both pens are now ready to go on to their new home with Lisa. Okay, so they're both ready to go. So Lisa, if you're watching, I hope you enjoy your pens. I hope you have many years of writing pleasure with them. And thank you for your purchase. And for you people, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these pens as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, leave a comment below, don't be shy, subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget, wherever you are, please stay safe. But for now, I'll just say bye bye for now.